Algeria, the world's 10th biggest country and a place of unique business potential. This African country owes its stable financial condition to the revenues from sales of crude and natural gas. However, being aware of a prospect of natural resources depletion, the Algerians are now looking to the future to develop alternative sources of energy. This country where the sun shines for 300 days a year has recently been visited by a delegation of the Polish Economic Commission headed by Mr. Bernard Błaszczyk, the Undersecretary of the State and the Ministry of Environment. The visit was co-organized by the Embassy of the Republic of Poland in Alga. The Vice Minister was accompanied by a delegation of representatives of eight Polish companies taking part in the project Green Evo, Green Technologies Accelerator. We are here with Green Technologies Accelerator companies to promote Polish technologies. We are aware that Algeria is ready for doing business with us at the beginning of its road to ecological development. Therefore, we think it's important to show our best technologies so we can actually start doing business with the Algerians. On the first day of the visit, the delegation was scheduled to meet the General Secretary in the Algerian Ministry of Environment. We wish to present in one of the African countries' green market in order to be able to go to further markets in that part of the world. Our proposals on new technologies for both dangerous and urban waste management, sewage treatment and renewable energy sources development gathered a great deal of interest among our Algerian partners. Then each Green Evo delegate had an opportunity to present their technological solutions during a seminar held in the Ministry of Environment in Alga. At this moment, our technologies are being presented at a panel with Algerian institutions and businesses. The Algerian administration was able to learn about new technologies of such companies as Ecotech Polska, Dagas, PP Eco, Multichem Eco, Marbet Will, Neon, CTE Carbotech Engineering, and Vofil. In the evening, our delegation left for Oran, Algeria's second biggest city. On the 19th of October, the Under Secretary of State in the Ministry of Environment, Mr. Bernard Wasztyk, started an opening ceremony of ERA 2011, International Renewable Energy Trade Fair. The Polish stand enjoyed a great deal of interest from the Algerian media and Algerian business people. The Ministry delegates and Green Evo Company's representatives handed out catalogues and talked about their new technologies. Later that day, one-to-one B2B meetings were held. Each company invited Algerian business people to their tables to talk about the export of Polish technologies to Algeria. We know it's just the beginning and we are facing a long-term relationship development process. Yet, we are aware that the success will depend on a joint effort from the Polish government administration and Polish businesses participating in the Green Evo project. The visit ended with a meeting with the Ambassador Michał Jedlicki, where the delegates summed up the stay by sharing impressions and discussing their business opportunities in Algeria. On the 20th of October, the delegates returned to Poland. As a follow-up, the Polish and Algerian Ministries of Environment started working together on signing a letter of intent and planning a return visit of an Algerian delegation to Poland. The Green Evo project companies found valuable business partners and are successfully developing prospects of exporting their technologies to Algeria in the near future. The economic mission to Algeria is now accomplished. We are soon going to be taking the Green Evo project to promote to Armenia, Azerbaijan, Moldova, Germany and China. But now the Green Evo companies have to take care to develop new relations with Algerian partners and sign first contracts next year during the next economic mission to Algeria.